Hello and welcome back to Mr. Miyagi's Bench. Well, here we are with the iFlight Ultralight Y Light 150mm FPV racing frame. It's a team team frame and in the three inch category. And uh, what we have here is I've already put the motors on. Uh, already took the time to um, figure out what was the standoff heights that I needed to give me some space between the VTX and the top plate and, I, and I'm very happy with that amount um, there's nothing touching underneath if you look there's very very there's actually about a millimeter and a half underneath there that uh, between the surface of the top sandwich plate and the uh, uh, capacitor on the 4-in-1. And so let's talk about the 4-in-1. What we have is an Ori 25 4-in-1. Um, it is um, rated at 25 amps. Um, I was told that it will do a little more if it's given the proper cooling. So um, I'm trying not to get to that point. I would really like to see what 25 amps draw on this size ship actually a hundred amps draw on this size ship would do in the air so I'm interested in seeing that not 27 not 28 but 25 out of these motors anyway let's move on um, the next thing is since we have the Ori 25 we're able to connect it directly with a short cable a 30 millimeter cable to the um, Omnibus F4 Nano, and uh, it uh, it looks good sitting there. Uh, as you can see, uh, this was sent with it. This little uh, USB uh, plug cover. I've never gotten dirt in here, so uh, I you know, but I guess people do. So, but anyway, um, on top of the flight controller is a Wolf Whoop uh, 40 channel. 5.8 gigahertz uh, VTX. Um, it has variable uh, power levels, and you can look that up. Um, all I'm really interested in it doing is 25 milliwatts because it's a racing frame, and that's all it really needs to be for for racing. Anyway, so moving on to the motors. The motors are the iFlight uh, Force. Uh, 1606 motors that were sent with this frame and what I did was I braided the wires um, I'm a fan of braided wires because when the wires are braided together they're stronger um, tensile strength and um, I've also noticed I've had less issues with noise backfed noise into the ESCs and into my videos too so um, that's one of the reasons why I do that. Uh, and then the last thing is the camera, which is, I mean, it's just an arrow. It's just a camera in place. I have something else on order. Um, it hasn't gotten here yet, so I'm waiting for it to get here. Um, but this will suffice for now until I can get it in the air and the other thing gets here. And we'll update then. Um, other than that, it's a really nice kit. Clean, build. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause now and I'll come back after it's done. Hello everyone. Uh, we're back after the kit's been built. And actually after six flights, um, I can tell you the performance of this ship is exceptional. Uh, 1606 Nazgul 3061 props, um, all made by iFlight. And it's just great performance. The, the frame is agile and uh, quick acceleration, strong, non-flexible, it's great. Um, the performance of the motors is exceptional. It comes down slightly warm with these props on, and I'm very happy with the performance. And I'll say thank you, iFlight. Thank you, NDC, uh, for the kit. I hope you guys get a chance to check us out. Um, more videos. <laughs> 